are you do you feel like now that um having made it to uh, um your age with the the health that you have um the amount of energy that you have you know you're you're doing all these different projects i mean most people are like retiring in florida no, in florida. i'm not anywhere near retiring i mean no you're not i mean do you and looking at your 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 children how they've grown up and they're they're healthy and they're thriving do you feel um validated because i know a lot of people look at uh, this information and they, and they're very skeptical. Um, but do you feel like you're a, you have proved out, um, that, and at least a case study of look at this and feel validated yeah. way by that? I mean, I, I love, and I'm not, I'm, I'm a woman who is not afraid to tell my age because I, I, it's mostly because of the energy. It, it's just, this incredible energy and desire to serve others. And I just love working with people and seeing positive change. Um, I also have a, a, a vegan and raw food coach certification, and I work with my students every week. And it's my goal to help them to get out there and do the work that I'm doing. I want to spread this far and wide. Uh, because I see all over the world that these disease epidemics are growing. Like autism is worldwide. Diabetes has grown. When I grew up, I didn't even know anybody with cancer. Right. Like some, everybody knows somebody with cancer or some, or people who have died with, from cancer. It's just, you know, when I started growing up, that's, when processed food was introduced before that we didn't have yep. processed food but you know even my grandmother was sick and she didn't grow up with processed food but mm. she did grow up with a lot of animal food oh okay okay was she was she raised on a farm she was not raised on a farm Okay, but, but it was still was, it was still drinking milk in the morning and you know, all that yeah she was drinking milk she was eating meat and and they cooked everything. They cooked everything. So she didn't have a lot of fresh, uncooked fruits and vegetables. And when she read that little book, she started making changes and she had immediate results. Immediate results from a very life-threatening illness. Mm. So we're, we're literally sitting here and we're literally having, as a species an existential crisis where all these things are exploding and, and, and you're out there, you are just a ball of energy, just all these different projects, all these different things you're doing, but you're saying that that's where the energy comes from. You think it's because of how you're, you're eating. I know it's because of how I'm eating. I wouldn't be able to do everything that I'm doing. I mean, I have, I'm coaching people. I have, my vegan coach certification. I'm doing a raw food retreat in Costa Rica in January. Um, I do events. One of my students lives in the town that I'm in right now in Colorado, and we do local events together. So, you know, we just did one. We're doing another one in a couple of weeks. And I have plenty of energy to get all the food, to prepare everything, to make the lists of the recipes and everything for people. And we get together and we had like a pretty full group last time in the location that we were at and everybody was asking questions. And this is a very big meat eating community. They're more health conscious, I believe, than in other parts of the country. They have a huge farmer's market here. Like where I am in New Jersey, there is one organic farmer at the farmer's market. Wow. Here, there's like 12. So there's okay. definitely more consciousness here. Uh, lots of, like so many people have a garden and there's just more openness to it. So these women who came and a man, most of them were eating meat and they were attracted to the flyer 
and they wanted to come and see because they some of them had health challenges and they left really motivated to either give it a try or go in that direction. Hmm. 